Hello and welcome to another video. This one is going to be a little bit more beginnery. Uh, we're going to try and talk about tracebacks in Python, uh, which is kind of the error output that you get for exceptions by default. And I'm going to tell you how to read them as well as some cases where you might see you know, multiple tracebacks and how to read those and um, yeah, how to find where the, where the error code is. But anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, for this, I'm going to be cloning a repository of mine. Uh, get clone. And we're just gonna be using this to add some code to it such that we can cause a crash and then look at that crash. And I'm just gonna set up a virtual environment here. And um, so cloned it, used talks to set up a virtual environment, activated the virtual environment. Uh, now we're gonna edit a piece of the code just to cause a crash. So if we do pi upgrade plugins, Set literals, yeah, that seems like one that we could do. Uh, how about here? We're just gonna put raise assertion error. Hello, hello. Cool, um, so now I wanna trigger this crash and what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna make a little file that we're going to edit and I happen to know that if I write code like this, PyUpgrade is gonna try and automatically rewrite it to look like this. And when we call PyUpgrade on this file, PyUpgrade t.py, you'll see that we get his trace back here. Now, Python does a really cool thing that I haven't seen in any other programming language. I'm sure there are others that do this, but the only one that I'm familiar with is, is Python. Uh, Python actually flips the trace back upside down. And this is really, really smart. And I really, really like that they did this. Um, so what this means is that the newest frame, the one, uh, you know, the one that caused the trace back is gonna be closest to the bottom of your terminal. Um, Python is kind of designed in this way, expecting that you're going to be running from a terminal. And so, you know, the most useful information is the closest to where your eye is looking as you run a command. So, you know, you're looking here and you look immediately up and this is the frame where uh, the, the exception came from. Now, when I say frame, I'm basically talking about a layer of function calls. So you can see each of the function calls is listed over here. Now note, um, well, actually, let's expand this out a little bit further. Note that uh, Python tracebacks don't always include some of the C tracebacks. Uh, it depends on which C um, extension language you're using, but like normal C Python extensions, you won't see their frames, but like Cython, you might. Uh, so generally, you'll just see the pure Python function calls here. So you can kind of see that um, this started from the PyUpgrade executable here. This is the oldest frame, the outermost frame. And that called this sys.exit load entry point thing, uh, which called my main function, which called fix file, which called fix plugins, which called fix setter, set literal. And that's where my exception happened at. So you can kind of see as you look upwards, you're looking kind of broader and broader into your program. Whereas this is, you know, this is the particular line in the particular file and the particular function that you're worried about and the code that caused that. So that's kind of how you read this. So, um, you know, the word file, the file name, the line number. Uh, sometimes you won't have an actual function name. So like this happened at a module scope. Um, sometimes this will say like eval or string if it's talking about dynamically created code. Uh, but usually it'll list the actual function that's called here and the line number. Uh, so yeah, that's this assertion error here. And that's that's how I was able to read through that trace back and figure out what was going on here. Now, another situation that can happen here is you might see more than one of these trace backs. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this raise into a different call. Uh, let's actually look for spoilers. I'm going to look for accepts inside here. Um, this should be fine somewhere in here. Except um, that one's too easy. Let's do this one assertion error hello hello and so what this is doing is inside of the syntax error callback so we need to cause a syntax error in our file and we can do that easily by just not closing our print and if we run this uh oops python 3 <laughs> pi upgrade of course that errors immediately we run pi upgrade on t.py you'll see that we get kind of this double stack trace here now the reason that you get a double stack trace here is while this error was being handled here, handled here, another error has occurred. So you can see raise assertion error uh, 
kind of, you know, the, the exception traceback machinery knows that an exception was already in progress, but a new one got started. And so you end up with kind of two exceptions here. Uh, now the first one comes from the ast.parse. So this particular call here, uh, you can see fixed plugins calls EST parse calls, you know, the underlying AST parsing code, and that's what triggers this syntax error here. Now, this is not the most useful exception. That's why it's the furthest away from your terminal. Uh, the most useful exception is the one that's actually being raised here, this assertion error. And this is kind of like a normal traceback that you would see. This behavior is actually new in Python 3. Before that, you would have just gotten this traceback here, and you wouldn't have this additional context traceback here. So that's what this is up here. Now you can eliminate the context traceback if you're trying to force this by doing from none here, I think. Yeah, so you can see this from none, uh, the, the from allows you to chain exceptions to kind of show, you know, like say this is saying like during the handling of this exception, another exception occurred. You could also chain intentionally from an exception. Uh, yeah, you can see now it says, was the direct cause of the following exception? So. By changing this from, you know, not having from, you have during the handling of another exception occurred. With from explicitly, you have was the direct cause of the following exception. And if you do from none, it eliminates kind of that double trace back. So this is how you can control that exception stuff here. Uh, but you can actually stack this further. You can have more and more of these nested causes of, of trace backs. But still, if we're reading this, from the bottom up, you can see that this is the, the last exception that was raised, and then again, is the closest to your terminal prompt down here. So it's you know the easiest to read as possible. Now, if I were to debug this, uh, or if I you know didn't have that open already, I might say, oh, I wanna look at what failed on this particular line. I will copy this, open it up in my text editor. I will jump to line 103, and that's where this raise happened from. And then I can start looking at you know the code around there and figure out what happened. If that's not the cause, if it actually was, you know, from some other earlier function, I can again, like, you know, grab a grab a frame up, go to this, go to line 863, and this is the call that triggered that other call. And so you can kind of imagine going up and down your stack frames to figure out where the error actually comes from. Um, but anyway, that's kind of an introduction to tracebacks that you'll get from exceptions, as well as stacked tracebacks and the from keyword in uh, you know raise, the raise syntax, which that's also new in Python 3. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.